Hello everybody, this is Punisher, and I have a question that is asked to me fairly occasionally on when you're setting up a dual uh, streaming setup, is there a way to get around having to purchase a capture card? Uh, if you go and look today, uh, you will spend on average of probably around 150 to $200 on purchasing a capture card for your stream rig for recording and streaming to Twitch. Well, there is a way that you can stream from your gaming PC to a laptop or another desktop computer that you have set up for streaming without a capture card using your uh, internal ethernet. So I want to show you how you can do that. Um, now, uh, one of the big uh, benefactors to having a streaming rig is reducing the amount of load on your game rig when you're uh, streaming. Okay, so with this one, um, you're not, if you have a capture card in your stream rig, for instance, you're not going to have any um, performance issues or loss, I should say, with your gaming PC. With this setup, you are going to have some performance loss, but it's minimal. Um, so I have uh, actually tested this last night on Battlefield 1, uh, and I want to show you how you can do this on your, uh, your own gaming PC and a laptop, for instance. Um, and it's very easy to do. It's not complicated at all. It only takes a few minutes to set up. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Don't revive me, bro. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up a command prompt. So what you need to do is go to... Uh, hit your windows key type in r so windows key plus r and then type in cmd okay you do that that brings up this window and in this command prompt you're going to want to type in ip config base forward slash all so now you have your ethernet settings for your stream rig okay of note, you're going to want to get your IP address or your uh, IPv4 address. Okay, so 192.168.0.111. You're going to note your subnet mask, which should be 255.255.255.0, and your default gateway. Also, your DNS server, okay, which for me matches my default gateway. Okay, and you can see that right there. Okay, so. Once you do that, then you want to go into your network control. So go to your uh, network uh, icon down in the lower right hand corner. Right click on that and open network and sharing. And click on Ethernet. And then click on properties. Now scroll down to find Internet Protocol version TCP IPv4. And you want to click on that. Okay, now. You should more than likely have obtain an IP address automatically selected. Select use the following IP address instead, okay? And when that happens, these fields will pop up. Okay, so now you need to enter the data that you got off your IP config all from the command prompt and enter it into here. So I entered my IP address of 192.168.0.111. If you hit tab, subnet mask should automatically fill in. Okay. So then when you tab down default gateway, again, enter your default gateway that you got from the command prompt. And that would, for me was 192.168.0.1. Same thing for DNS server. Okay. You got to enter your DNS server IP address. For me, it was the same thing as default gateway. For you, it's probably the same thing. So once you enter that information, then click OK. Okay, you might lose your Ethernet connection. You might get a little exclamation point on it for a second, but it should sync back up with your router. And uh, then you'll have connection again and you'll be good. Okay, so now you have a static IP address set. And that will have you, now you have set your stream rig up for that. Now you're wanting to go and get into OBS 
and set up your gaming PC and your streaming PC using a protocol called RTMP. Okay, so once you have static I, your static uh, IP addresses set, then you can go ahead and you can start setting up your streaming. Okay, so I have OBS on my gaming PC. You're going to need OBS on both sides. Okay, so if you don't know how to where to get OBS from, okay, bring up a browser and type in OBSproject.com. And download the what latest Windows version that you have or if you're on Mac then do the same for Mac okay so here's a uh, OBS studio is on my game rig here and likewise I have OBS studio on my stream rig that I'm using to actually record right now okay so what you need to do first of all I would recommend you setting up a profile if you go here you set up a profile I've got a profile called RTMP okay so set that up RTMP is the protocol you're going to use to send uh, media over your internet okay so once you do that then what you need to do is you need to go into your settings because you're going to set up how you're going to stream your video on your game rig over to your stream rig so go to settings go to stream and here's where you would normally, if you were streaming to say Twitch or something, you would have you would have this selected to Twitch, you know, under streaming services. But no, we're going to do a custom streaming server. So what you need to do is do custom streaming server, and then you need to write this address in here. Okay, so it's RTMP colon forward slash forward slash, and then put the IP address of your stream rig right here. So in the case of my stream rig, is 192.168.0.111. Then forward slash live, okay? That is going to be your RTMP um, IP address that you're sending over, or your URL that you're sending over to your stream rig. Okay, for your streamer, stream key, you can make it whatever you want. Okay, for me, I made it Punisher. Okay, so that's what it is. You can see right there. All right. And it's that simple. That's all you need to do. From that point, what you need to do is make whatever you're going to send. If you're going to use a game capture to capture your gameplay, if you're going to use a display capture to capture your gameplay, you know, whatever. Just make sure that you go into video settings. Make sure that you uh, set whatever you want to send over. So if you're doing and want to record at 1080p, 60, um, and that's what you want your stream rig to see, then that's what you need to send over. Okay, so this is what I'm doing right now. Um, output wise, uh, it's important to know for uh, all the video settings and stuff that you're going to be sending over. Uh, is affected through the streaming tab okay not recording tab or audio but streaming tab okay so pick what audio track you're going to want to use to send all your audio for your stream over okay for me to take load off of my gaming rig i went ahead and instead of using x264 which is very cpu heavy i selected my nvenc processor which is on my gpu okay so it's got a you know you can do uh, video processing off of your gpu and it doesn't affect your CPU um, as much. Once you have that done, now you're able to um, send, well, you're not really able to send stuff over your stream rig, but as far as your game rig is concerned, everything is set up properly. So now the rest of the work is going to be over on your stream, stream rig. All right, so the first thing you wanna do, I'm on, now on my stream rig, and the first thing you wanna do is you need to set your stream rig up as an RTMP server. And you can do that with a little program called NGENX, okay? So it's pretty easy to do. Um, you can go to the internet and download it. I will actually provide the link for that uh, in the comments so you can download it easily without having to go searching for it. Um, but what you need to do is you need to, once you download it, you need to go and uh, Extract the zip folder, okay, and I've done that. It'll, when you download it, it'll come in as a zip file. Uh, extract the extract the uh, files to another folder, which I've done right here, called Nginx. Okay, and when you open it up, you should come. You should see these files here, okay. So go down to the Nginx, not Nginx Basic, but Nginx application, okay, and you're going to run that, okay. When you run that, you should see a little command window 
flash in and out okay okay so that'll tell you that it's running in the background you can also go to your task manager and look and see if the application is running in task manager okay so once you do that you're good okay you you don't need to go in nginx and change the, you know any settings or anything like that okay so once it's running and you verify that it's running then you can do this i recommend you also if you're not using it yet go download the best video player that you can get on the internet and it's called vlc media player all right and it's readily available and all all over the internet you know it's it's a very popular piece of software okay so you have vlc media player okay go to media select open network stream and then what you're going to do is you're going to type in that url that you put in on the gaming rig okay but you're going to add the stream key to it okay so it'll be rtmp colon forward slash forward slash the url of your stream rig in case of mine it's 192.168.0.111 forward slash live okay then forward slash punisher that's my stream key okay whatever your stream key is you know set it to something you'll remember and uh that's how that's what you'll put there at the end of that url and then once you have that then you hit play and when you hit play you go over to your game rig and start up obs and then hit start streaming um once you do that then you'll start sending file over and here you go so now i'm getting this coming over from my game rig okay so now you know that you're receiving video to your stream rig that's a, that's an easy quick way to test it you can also test your audio by going and bringing up your browser going to a youtube video or something like a music video that you know you can see somebody singing watch the video and audio through vlc player okay if and and you know if the audio is matching up with the with the you know person's mouth whatever and, and you know everything's good and you know that the audio is working fine okay and that's a great way to test to make sure that you're actually getting it over to your stream ring so now the only thing to do now that we know that we have video streaming to our stream rig is going into obs which i'll bring up here i'm gonna shut down the stream real quick on my game rig so do that and you bring up uh, obs on your stream rig okay now what you want to do is you want to go down here and i have set a, uh, a scene called rtmp i want to go hit the plus sign and then select media source okay I have made me to source three already, so I'm going to select that. Okay, now it comes up like this as a local file. You're going to uncheck, and then here is your input. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type that um, URL again. So it'll be RTMP colon forward slash forward slash the URL of your stream rig. 192 for me is 192.168.0.0 forward slash live forward slash your stream key so for me it's punisher okay so that should match what you typed into your vlc media player for impact input format you want to type in rtmp okay that should be it everything else down here you don't really need to mess with okay so now i should be able let me i want to deselect display capture you'll get a black screen for a second all right so I should be able to go back over to my game rig and hit start streaming and you should start you should see the uh, stream pop up on my game rig and there you go so here is my game rig now you can see all my games and everything and just adjust it as necessary and then whatever else you want to use for your uh, stream to go to twitch you know if you want to do an overlay you want to put your cam up here you want to do all that and go ahead and put it all in here and then everything else is like you would normally do for streaming you would go and you'd set up you know twitch and settings but this is it that's how you get the video over to your stream rig and that's how you set it up so that obs uh sees it and displays it and it works really good so again on this side though make sure for media source three right you want to go in and make sure for me i always use uh 
track four for all my streaming so make sure that it's selected track four and that will ensure all the audio signals that is coming from your game rig that it's streaming to your stream rig will be seen in obs okay and it'll all be on one track so that's how you do it so make sure that works and that's how you do it that's it it's it's not hard guys so this can potentially save you uh 200 and i mean let's see there's some capture cards that are up to a thousand dollars for doing 4k so if you know this is a great way to save a lot of money and keep you from buying those expensive capture cards and uh still be able to stream using a dual pc streaming configuration or a laptop that you have laying around that you uh, you know that's within a couple years old uh that has you know a good a decent quad core in it like my laptop has an i7 quad core that process is quick quick sync so i could definitely stream off of that so simple to do all right guys i hope this helped you out i appreciate uh you watching and if you liked it give a thumbs up and uh please comment and share and subscribe all right, guys, that's it for me. This is Punisher. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.